All right, what's up everybody? Relaxing Tech, back with another video. Uh, today we're gonna be unboxing the brand new Apple iPad Pro. This is the 9.7 inch Pro. Um, I went and got the 32 gigabyte 9.7 inch Wi-Fi cellular model. Um, the company that I run, we make an iPad application. So I definitely wanted to pick this up so we can do some testing on it. Uh, make sure the application runs on this new hardware that's really important for us. So I wanted to go pick this up and figured this would be a good opportunity to do some unboxing with you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it and we'll unbox this thing together. So first just, you know, pretty standard Apple packaging. You got some seams here around the box. And for anyone that's watching this, just a full disclosure, like I always do, this is an ASMR video, which means we're going to be taking our time with this unboxing, and it's not going to be rushed. If you're looking for a quick unboxing, you can go check out another video. I'm sure there's a lot of good unboxing videos out there on YouTube for the Apple iPad Pro, but ASMR is for the viewers relaxation so we'll be just taking our time with this one and you know hopefully you'll enjoy that please leave me a comment and let me know if you guys are liking it okay almost done here i think we made a full round i think we're just missing this part here all right side okay. alrighty so here we have the iPad Pro went and got the space gray model I always like the space gray Apple products so we'll lift this up slowly It's got this film display on it, or film covering the display on it. So we'll go ahead and just lift this tab right here and pull it right out. We'll set that off to the side. Now, as usual, you know, the Apple products come with a few standard things. First thing you get here is a wall adapter. To plug it in and charge it. The other thing you get is a manual that nobody ever really reads, but we'll go through it anyways. Which comes with you know just a quick start, you know information, some information about the iPad, the uh, the SIM ejector, so you can just pop out the SIM. All right, and then you get also one of these lightning connectors as well. You can never have too many of these. So we'll put this back. All right, I'll put that off to the side here. And here we have the star of the show, the Apple iPad Pro 9.7 inch. And let's just slowly take off this packaging here. This will flip it towards the back.
and there we go. iPad Pro 9.7. We'll go ahead and we'll turn this on. And that didn't seem to do anything. Let's try it again. All right, there we go. Powering it up, and we'll go through just the initial setup together. And what I thought would be fun is I'll actually set up a few of my favorite applications on here and, you know, get it going that way. I think that would be a cool way to show you, you know, the best apps that I think um, for the iPad. All right, so standard Hello Screen. Okay. United States. Let's choose a Wi-Fi network. real quick and let me just give me a moment I'll set up some of my personal info here okay set up touch ID later create a passcode set up as a new iPad and the Apple ID let me just put that in real quick alrighty terms and conditions set up the Apple ID iCloud settings. And I logged in with my iCloud account so I get all my notes synced up, my contacts synced up. Apple Pay. And Apple Pay is a great service, but I don't think I need to set that up right now. So let's set that up later. Uh, da, 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 iCloud Keychain. We don't need to do that here. Don't restore passwords are not needed for right now. Set up Siri. Sure, we'll turn on Siri. Hey Siri. <laughs> okay, that worked pretty good. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. All right. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri. It's me. All right, sweet. Don't send to Apple. True tone display. Now, this is cool. This is one of the new features on the new iPad Pro. So, basically, what it is is an ambient light sensor that detects the ambient lighting in the room and will adjust the temperature's color display to match. So, basically, the effect that they're going for is to make this look like um, a physical sheet of paper. You know, if you look, you're in, your, you're in a yellow room, uh, the, the piece of paper will reflect the yellow light and it'll look warmer. If you're in a cooler room, the piece of paper would be a little bit more brighter on the bluer side of things um, and would reflect that light. And Apple's trying to do that with the iPad Pro here so that, you know, the display feels more natural when you're in that particular setting. And I've actually heard some really good things about this, so I'm excited to try it out. So we'll go ahead and we'll set up the True Tone display. Welcome to iPad. Boom, okay, we're in, nice. Okay, so you got your standard home screen here. Um, and, you know, you can go ahead and set up a few different applications.
So yep, there you have it. That's the iPad Pro. All right, so let's just set up a few applications. I'll take you through some of the ones that I like. So we'll go into the App Store. The first thing that I'm going to put on here, um, because you know, what, what does an iPad fit in in your life when you have a laptop computer to do most of your day to day tasks? You have a phone when you're on the go. What's the iPad for? Well, for me, the iPad has always been a media device. It's a device for consuming content rather than creating it. When you're creating content, you know, you'd probably rather be on a laptop. And if you're on the go, you use your phone. But when you want to sit back and relax uh, and consume some content, the iPad's the perfect device for that. It is a lean back experience as opposed to a laptop, which is a lean forward experience, if you will. So what I like to do is I like to load this, not just with, with productivity apps, because I d definitely do want productivity apps on here because um, they could be rather useful, but to start mostly leisure uh, learning applications, media applications, and reading applications. So the first thing that I'm going to download is an application called Pocket. And Pocket is a really cool app. So you think of Pocket, think of like the save button or the read it later button for the web. How many times do you stumble across a great article on Twitter or in your email and you really want to read it, but you just don't have time to read it right then and there? Pocket is perfect for that. So basically, you just have a you know pocket on your browser. It's a browser extension, or you can have it on your phone. Whenever you see a link, you'll be like, hey, this sounds really interesting. I'd like to read that later on. You can add it to your pocket, and then you will be able to pull up all of the saved articles that you had uh, throughout the last week or so in your pocket. Really, really cool app. All right, so the other application that I'm going to put on here is no doubt Netflix because I got two kids they're definitely gonna want to watch videos on this um, and personally I'm gonna want to watch some House of Cards later on so definitely got to put Netflix on there again media consumption stuff so that's another one the other thing that I'm gonna be doing is again I'm using this for work so I got to put a few work productivity apps on here. So um, again, I don't use this as my primary work device, but definitely, you know, while you're reading an article or you have this and you're just like browsing the web, you want to get notifications from your work in case you need to act on something real quick so you don't have to switch devices. So the most important ones that I'm going to download is Outlook for iPad. Now, I've tried a ton of different email clients and Outlook has been by far the best. You know, Outlook is actually a startup called Accompli that Microsoft bought um, about a year or so ago. And you can tell it was made by a startup and not by Microsoft. It's a fantastic application. They just bought it and renamed it Outlook. Um, but right now it's the best email client, in my opinion, for iOS devices. So got that. The next thing that I'm going to get is Slack. For those of you that don't know, Slack is a awesome team communication application. My entire company basically is running off of Slack. Think of Slack as like a grand central station for your team. You can have all these different channels here. So engineering, bugs, marketing, et cetera, general. And you can even direct message teammates, but everything kind of feeds through this particular app. And it's super, super useful. Um, it's one of the best work collaboration applications I've ever used. Highly recommend it. So, and they actually make it fun. You can tell by just the design of this application. It's not like a, a gray enterprise app. Really actually a fun app to use to talk with your colleagues. The other thing that I got to download is an application called Quip. So Quip. This document 
collaboration application is amazing. Think of it like a souped up version of uh, Google Docs. If you wanna collaborate on a document with somebody, this is an awesome way to do it. You can see, you know, work with your team, you can create to-do lists, but I never use it for to-do lists. I use it for creating articles, content, blogs. Um, we use it for spreadsheets to log clients and things like that. Here you see the, the, how you could use it as a spreadsheet. Love using it for that. And the cool thing about it is on the left side, during you have the document on the right, but on the left side, you have the um, chat thread where you can actually talk with your colleague or colleagues on the left side and collaborate on the doc like that. So you can be chatting, hey, I think we should move this cell over. I think we should start a different table. I think we should maybe you know, think of a different start to this blog post. So many things you can do with this kind of collaboration. So really awesome. So we're gonna download that. All right. Um, what else? Twitter, definitely a must, right? You're gonna be wanting to keep up with the news when you're on the iPad. So Twitter for iPad is an absolute must. Apple calls it an essential, and I agree, definitely. Um, and I think you know what, that, that'll be it to start. I just wanted to guys, give you guys a sense of some of my favorite apps for the iPad. You know, maybe I can do a full review after I play around with the new iPad Pro for a little bit, let you know, you know, how it's working compared to the iPad Air 2. And I'll also, when it's fully loaded with all the applications, do a what's on my iPad video, which I think could be fun. I always wanted to do one of those. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was useful. Um, you know, if, if you have any questions, please feel free to mark it in the comments. And please let me know how I'm doing on these videos. Again, I'm kind of new to ASMR. I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know, am I talking too loud, talking too fast, etc. cetera. Um, so anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much.